Alrighty, I'd like to um, just go over some hinges with you guys. <clears throat> These are the three hinges that's on the sliding door of our TCR10 Drago Previa Estima, whichever you may have. Um, keeping in mind, these are for Tarago, not Previa, um, but same ID, just in reverse. Um, okay, so the bottom hinge, that's pretty much it. Um, this one here is in pretty good condition still, so um, this, I've got these off another van. Um, to keep as spares, or rather, I got them off another van to see if I could fix them and then use them in my van and the ones that are on my van when I do change these will be my spares so uh, the reason why I'm making this video is um, it helps for it will help others to see how these hinges are assembled if they want to have an idea of um, how to fix it themselves uh, there is no part numbers on these so uh, you can't actually say I you know, look up part number because there is nothing on them okay so uh, we'll go over some things here with um, this one here you got the uh, inner um, what do you want to call it what well, can't call it a bearing but you got this inner part here that's metal and the outside that's a perspex or a hardened plastic if you wish um, <clears throat> so this metal uh, part here will help um, with the sliding on the door so there's, this is basically just to um, silence it down I guess I, I don't really know but the wear and tear would not be all that great having that there's a metal part there uh, and this part here is basically just a guide so it's never going to get much wear either so um, that's Try and get as close as I can. So that's how the bottom hinge looks. There, I'll turn over. And if we get some measurements, so if you had to um, change this here, you're looking at 24 mil. And uh, the distance this way. is basically 17 mil isn't it you probably probably go by 17 and a half maybe 18 mil just to play it safe um not too sure about the center but if this one ever did break it would be easy enough to change just getting this washer here off taking these parts off putting on a bearing in its place and put a um a circlip there on it and basically job's done this one here actually looks like it's um it's not a washer based something like that there's no way to um actually get this off without probably um drilling that out and putting a new stud in <clears throat> anyway the center part there is basically 12 mil and the thickness of this guy here, eight mil. With a bit, say twenty-two mil, twenty-two and a half. And the, the length of that black part in the middle there. I did already do that. Twelve mil. If I did, I did it again. And the um, <clears throat> thickness of that part in the centre is 13. Uh, about the centre part of the shaft in there, I don't know. Obviously, can't pull this apart, or don't want to pull this apart to find that part out. Okay, so the top hinge, I'm going to just give you a quick look. I've already had the bearing on this, but I took it off just to make this video. That's the top hinge roller. Basically what it looks like. And 
the center shaft on this. Just let me reset this. So seven mil, seven mil center. And uh, the bearing that um, I'm using on this is um, second. So you got uh, that section there is pretty much. So it's six mil, I guess. Anyway, the bearing I'm putting on it is um, this guy here. I've already taken this out. I've already had this on and tested it and so forth. Um, so I'll put it back on. Anyway, the you don't want to go any wider than this. It's 19 mil. Yeah, for the top roller, if you was to go 21 mil, the bearing won't turn. There's no, not enough room for that. 20 mil max. 19 perfect so <clears throat> in the thickness of it 6 mil and the inner is 7 mil and that fits on here like so and you get your circle clip Anyway, I'll show you in a second. That's pretty much put your circle clip on and see if I can get it on now. Alrighty, so there's the circle on, and that's job done there, that fixes that one. Now, uh, like the other ones, there's normally a um, Perspex on these, and that'll be to do with um, sound, so when you're sliding the door, it's a lot quieter with the Perspex than it would be with the bearing, but the bearing will outlast the Perspex, so for myself, I choose to go bearing, but if you want to go perspex and um, get the right size tubing and just cut it to the 6mm thickness that you need to do the job. This is um, the center roller, and I'm not going to take these bearings off here, but um, they're just a 8mm in size. I'll do some, um, do some slides. I've taken pictures of it. So I'll put the slides through, so it's basically, um, get it right there. Get on there. Okay, so it's a, it's supposed to be 8 mil. So that's it there. 7.8, close enough. The thickness of them, you can't go any more than 11 mil on these guys, otherwise same thing, they won't turn. These are 10, 10's perfect. You don't want, honestly, you don't really want to go 11 because that's really, there's about 11 and a half mil gap on the rail. And um, so even though 11 was still moving there, it's that half a mil is not really enough. You want, you want a 10. You'd really want, to don't go any more than 10. Uh, this bearing here, I'm not changing that, that's perfectly fine, it looks a bit ragged there, but it's, it's fine. Um, again, you'd have to um, 
do some good doctoring on this one because there's no way of getting that bearing off. Um, what would that have to be? Because I don't know, don't really know how they would have got it on. Anyway, I'm sure if it needed to be replaced, there would be a way. And the purpose of this video to show you the size anyway. So that's a 19mm as well. And as for the centre, well that's, I guess that all depends on what you replace the shaft with. As long as the bearing is in the right spot and it's 19mm, that'd be fine. And uh, let's show you the rest of the hinge. Again, there's no part numbers on these guys. I wish there was. Um, anything else I can show you on that one? You got this um, this guy here. The length of this arm. Um, my, my tool won't go any further than that. So, what we've got here is the thickness of it 38. Distance to the first hole. The length of the hole, 15, thickness of that hill hole, is 11, second hole from the very end is 28mm. It's a round hole, so I'm not going to, to measure it. Both ways, that's 19.5mm. <coughs> Next hole along is just a little one there. I think it's a guide hole. I guess I'll put the measurement on it just to, since I'm doing it anyway. So that's from the very end 61mm. The hole is 7mm. Next hole along. Starting edge is 75mm. And I've already done the thickness of the hole with the other one. So, and the last one there. Same hole as the first, but with a distance from the end. mm so that's yeah pretty much it eh? I'll do this I'll put some slides on here for this one um, with the different measurements of what it looked like when I was doing the job and how I did it and um, I'll just run run these two in the van on their rails to show you them working. Not the bottom one, but that doesn't. That's probably the most irrelevant one to worry about. It's these two guys here that have the most. Are these two here the most common ones to? What do you say? Stop working. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, yeah, I'll go out to the car, or the van rather, and um, just show you them working in the van. And um, hopefully seeing this idea and knowing the measurements, um, others out there are able to fix their hinges instead of um, trying to hunt down where to buy them from.
So I just want to show you this quickly here. This is the um, sliding door rubber uh, roller. Just get that in there. Yeah, that's perfect slide in there. And this is going to show enough. So you can see that there's perfectly fine. It's a little bit tricky to get it back out than it is to get it in. And uh, but um, if if taking this door off, you need to. Um, a bit of um, like a plastic knife or something behind here, pop that forward, get that off so the roller can slide right out and past this point here. Um, and you need to undo the need to undo that top hinge and the bottom hinge to um, slide the door out <coughs> and the top hinge there. So you can see the that's the bearing that I'm using there. And uh, at this point here that it goes in. You can see there that's and that's all that's required there. And so that's a bit of play, there's probably about two mil play there, and that's that's all you want. So um, yes, that's pretty much it. That's uh, again once more my last time bearings for the fix, and um, hopefully this video's helped a few guys out.